It is estimated that approximately 35% of women worldwide have experienced some form of sexual harassment in their lifetime. In the majority of countries that have data available on rape report that less than 40% of women who experience sexual violence seek help. Girls ages 16 to 19 are four times more likely to be victims of rape or sexual assault and female college students ages 18 to 24 are three times more likely to experience sexual assault. Almost 90% of females carry some form of a purse, handbag or a school bag. To help reduce any type of the female assault, every female going outside should have a safety device which can be kept hidden inside a purse, handbag or a school bag. In this episode, you will learn how to make a smart purse with a women's safety device which can be operated using this small wireless remote controller. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices, only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. PCBWay is currently celebrating 6th anniversary offering mid-air big sale. I'm really thankful to the PCBWay for continuously supporting my work by sending me such high quality PCBs. Any purse can be converted into a smart purse with a women's safety device provided with a wireless receiver, JSM module and a GPS module. All these modules are interfaced with the Arduino Nano. All the electronics are powered up using the rechargeable LiPo battery. The female safety device inside a purse, handbag or a school bag can be operated using this small wireless transmitter. This small wireless remote controller should not be placed inside the purse and should be placed somewhere safe. In an emergency situation, all you need is to secretly press a button. This will send the victim's GPS coordinates to the family member in a text message consisting of the Google's MAP URL link consisting of the latitude and longitude information. If the kidnapper or someone else snatches the purse, wait for the right time and press the button. The YK04 transmitter and receiver modules can communicate up to 50 meters as per the data sheet. I performed a series of tests and it worked perfectly. This is just a prototype model. The size can be further reduced by using the small GSM and GPS modules. In this project, we will cover number one, components details, number two, complete circuit diagram, number three, soldering, number four, programming, and finally, number five, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the YK04 280-433 MHz 4-channel receiver module with a 4-channel transmitter provided with the buttons. 4 data outputs D0 to D3 are for 4-button remote control. The data pin will output high level when the corresponding button is pressed. The working voltage of this module is 5 volts. 
This is the new 6M GPS module used in the female safety device for location tracking. This GPS module is provided with four male headers VCC, RX, TX and ground. If you have never used the new 6M GPS module then watch my getting started tutorial. I will provide a link in the description. This is the GSM 900M module which will be used for sending the GPS coordinates along with the Google's MAPE URL link. The first thing that you will notice about this GSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltages. Because voltages greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volt but you can easily power up this GSM 7900A module using a 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter then you can make your own power supply using LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170 explaining everything. There are a few things that I really like about the GSM 7900A module which are number one. This is the cheapest GSM module available on the market. Number two. Another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano etc. and also with 3.3 volt controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8266 m module and ESP32 etc. This is where we connect the external 5 volt regulated power supply. It has a total of 9 male headers. These 3 male headers are not connected. Pin number 1 is the VCC which can be connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. In my case is I will power up this module using the external power supply so I will leave this pin unconnected. Pin number 2 is the ground which will be connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 3 is the 5 volt TXT. Pin number 4 is the 5 volt RXT. Pin number 5 is the 3.3 volt TXT and pin number 6 is the 3.3 volt RXD. As Arduino is based on the 5 volt controller board so we will be using the 5 volt TXD and 5 volt RXD pins of the GSM 7900A module. The circuit diagram of the women's safety device is very simple. All the electronics are powered up using the 5 volts power supply. You can use a 5 volt LiPo battery or you can use the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. The 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator accepts a wide range of input voltages from 7 to 25 volts. So this device can also be used in vehicles for location tracking. The 5 volt and ground pins of the YK04 receiver module are connected with the 5 volt and ground pins of the power supply. The D0 pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12. The RXD and TXD pins of the GSM 7900A module are connected with the Arduino's pins 8 and 7. The RXD and TXD pins of the new 6M GPS module are connected with the Arduino's pins 3 and 2 respectively. I designed the PCB board using the Gatesoft Eagle schematic and PCB designing software. Finally, I generated the Gerber files using the PCBWay's online Gerber files generation tool and placed my order. These are the PCBs I received from the PCBWay company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the solder mask looks amazing.
This is how the PCB board looks after soldering. Over here we connect the four wires of the GPS module. Over here we connect the GSM module. The 5 volt power supply pins of the GSM module is connected over here. Over here we connect the 5 volt LiPo battery. Our female safety device is ready. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. This is the same exact program which I used in the car accident location tracking but with just a few changes. This time I defined a pin for the D0 pin of the YK04 receiver module which is connected with the Arduino's digital pin 12. Edit a condition which checks if the D0 pin is high. The D0 pin only gets high when the button A on the transmitter side is pressed. The other most important change is I edit the code which generates the Google's MAP URL link consisting of the latitude and longitude information. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. I started off by powering up the device using the LiPo battery. Waited for a few seconds. My JSM module successfully connected with the network. As you can see, the LT is blinking at a slower rate. I performed all the initial tests. I was able to remotely trigger the controller and was able to successfully receive the messages consisting of the Google's MAP URL link with the latitude and longitude values. You simply click on the Google's map URL link. The exact location is displayed with almost 4 feet to 1 meter accuracy. I kept checking this module and it worked perfectly without any errors. Once I was satisfied with the working, I baked all the electronics inside this plastic enclosure. This safety device is portable, can be used in a purse, handbag, school bags, vehicles, in fact everywhere where you need to monitor the location. This is how easily an ordinary purse can be converted into a smart purse. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.